I ran out of fuel. Where were you guys? <laughs> Everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's your friendly neighborhood farmer Raznak. We are back on South Island Farm, or as I like to call it, Isla de Raznak. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is doing well. Got some weeds to spray. That's right. Always weeds, 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 weeds. And we're gonna try our little our sprayer setup for the first time. Because the sugar canes come in. Sugar cane, it's early summer here on Isla de Raznak and uh, sugarcane is in so we gotta get the sugarcane kinda sprayed also I think we're gonna be cutting some hay here today hay today yeah, that rhymed and uh, working on some other stuff some other different things I really wanna see how this works cause I think I have it measured out correctly I think so we're gonna do this without GPS. Let me get rid of that. Oh, and and then let's go. Let's get to work. Oh, we gotta raise this. Gotta raise the boom a little. There we go. It's probably a little late to be spraying weeds for uh, just for the simple purpose that uh, I don't know how the herbicide gets down in there because <laughs> that's kind of tall already. So I probably should have sprayed for weeds earlier, but it's fun. We're just pretending maybe we're spraying for weeds or we're spraying for bugs or we're spraying fertilizer. It doesn't matter. All in good fun, right? And then the little spray behind here, see that keeps our keeps the weeds out of our dirt path. And that's how it stays stays dirt. I I thought this through beforehand, I promise. I absolutely promise that was the case. No, not really. But I hope everybody's doing well. If you're watching this, it is a Saturday. Hope you're having a great day on Saturday. I know I'll be working, but I'll have a great day either way. I like how I got this set up. This is working out really well. And then when we get to the end, we should be able to just kind of swing around and um, and do what we need to do there. Kind of, uh, kind of get it to work. Let's see if it works on the return pass. And then here later in the episode, we'll be cutting some hay. Uh, maybe bailing it up. I don't know. I don't know what we can get done. I just don't know if we'll have the time. <laughs> in the great words of Frank the Tank. I just don't know if I'll have the time. But yeah, the, the farm's going great. Uh, I'll just give you an update real quick. We'll kind of, let's kill the sprayer. I'll just kind of show you what's going on. Uh, everything's planted. Let's see. Everything is planted and growing well. The grass is ready to cut. We got grass ready to cut here, ready to cut here, ready to cut here. So we're going to be cutting grass here in just a minute. Uh, the barley is coming in. Is that barley or wheat? Yeah, barley. I can't remember. <laughs> I've been on vacation. So the barley is ready, almost ready. Uh, cotton's doing well. And then the corn, of course, it's uh, it's just coming up. So I'd already sprayed all these fields. This has all been sprayed. This is kind of the last little bit. I wanted to save it for the episode for you because you just don't want to sit here and watch me spray the whole time. I think I went through one, two, three, uh, four full tank. So around, probably around at this point, 17,000 liters of herbicide to spray the whole farm. So quite a bit, pretty extensive spraying operation. I think, uh, let me see, probably six, seven tanks. How much is in each tank? Is there 2,000 in a tank? Yeah, there's 2,000 in a tank, so... What, eight? Nine? Probably eight. eight probably nine to ten. To, yeah, so... Close to $24,000. <laughs> Herbicide! $24,000! It's stupid money. All right. Oh yeah, this worked out great. I love this, the plan. I love when a plan comes together. Let's jump in cab. Oh, this looks so cool. Tell me this is, I love it. I love this setup. If you want to, um, if you want to uh, do your sugar cane from now on, you can just do it, go ahead and do it. And then 
thank your friendly neighborhood farmer Raznek for just the wonderful idea of of measuring this out so that you can uh, you can kind of make passes up and down the field. No, not really. It's kind of very similar to tram lines. Uh, something they don't use here in the states, but apparently in uh, in England they use tram lines quite a bit. Gordon Clarkson's farms. All right, we're gonna get the weeds sprayed up, and after that, we're gonna attach some mowers and get to cutting. I'll see you there. And we are back. We got our fella Ramos. 3060 FPKC on the front and then what we got back here another fella fella Ramos 3670 uh, It's a really really nice pack. It really is. This is you can get this from the in-game mod hub This is the fella fella grass pack. I think is what it's called. It comes with a couple mowers tether wind rower uh, Some different stuff all in a pack that you can use. I Just liked it. It was nice. It's got PTO attachments hoses animations look really good I mean, it's 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 very nice, very nice. Let's uh, let's fire this bad boy up and get to work. Let's fire up the back. I, I just want to see what it looks like. Yeah, because it's got what is that? A, is that a conditioner on the back or no? That's just a not really. But man, that looks good, doesn't it? And it's the PTO is animated all the way to the back. Let's check the. Again, very nice mod. Very nicely done. Lock our course in here. Lower this bad boy. And let's get to mowing. 13 miles per hour. Heck yeah, we're booking, baby. And it looks like the grass is partially dry. So that's good. Because these first couple fields I'm going to cut, this field right here, and that field over there on the other side of the cane, that's going to be for hay. And then the field all the way, all this field way over here is going to be for silage, grass silage. And it, and uh, yeah, that's the plan there. I'm not gonna, I might bale up some of this hay, but first we're gonna, we're gonna let it dry. So we're gonna drop it, let it dry, and then after that we'll be picking it up with the loading rag wagon and kind of putting it in as haylage, right? It's, I know like more like dried grass and then the other silos more I don't know kind of kind of cheating because I got grass silage and I got haylage I guess is what we're going to go with I don't know it's kind of both the same thing really but it works for me now we got to stop here close to the end and the reason why is because uh, my property line ends right here in if not, we're going to run into problems of, I call it, um, the, the not able to work and you got grass left over area <laughs> that I hate. So we'll cut that off there and then we'll raise this. Perfect. And then we'll raise this and then we'll flip. Because this little area by the road, we really can't mow it. Because it's not really ours. It's not. It's not mine. It belongs to the, the island. The island republic. Of Raznek. Alright, there we go. Perfect. That worked. Oh man. I like this. I like it a lot. I really like this fella pack. This is very nicely done. If you're looking for a good modded mower, you know, maybe you just want something a little different. These are really nicely done. Definitely worth checking out, and I would I would check them out if it's something you're interested in. All right, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna crank up the tunes, and we're gonna do some time lapse. That's right. Sit back, enjoy the tunes, and let's cut some grass. <laughs> Thank you. 
ran out of fuel. Where were you guys? <laughs> yeah, I went and did it. I ran out of fuel. I was paying zero attention. Zero. <laughs> the fuel gauge. Oh, man. And it just died. It died. Because where were I, where were you guys? I can't, you know. I, I need my uh, I need my text alerts in chat from my stream crew to uh, to tell me that I was uh, was out of fuel. But yep. Although I do have air. Look, it says fill type air one thousand five hundred eighty five liters. <laughs> so it's full of air, but we're out of fuel. So let's fill this thing up real quick. Boom, we're back in business. Now it's full of diesel and air. I didn't know air was a fill type, but I, I'm interested in, in very, very interested in to uh, find out if anyone has any comments about fill type air. Let me know what you think. All right, back to mowing. <laughs> of YouTube we are finished that's right successful operation mow the grass <laughs> all done we got everything mowed up uh, didn't take too long to me probably about an hour hour and a half I'd say real life hour hour and a half condensed down to just a couple minutes of footage to some fun fun music now like I said, this area over here, this is going to be grass silage. So what we're going to do is, I guess we need to row this up because this still has time to dry. And if we look at our drying conditions, they're very optimal for the next, you know, 24 hours or so. Um, it's not because the sun is out, because it's cloudy. It's just really windy. If you look at here, very, very windy which gives us very good drying conditions to make hay. Uh, so that's encouraging. We'll be able to, hopefully those fields that we cut first will turn to hay and then we'll be able to get those picked up. I'm gonna run back to the yard, pick up the wind rower, and I'll see you back in the field in just a second. Time to unfold the rower. Yep, time to get this stuff raked up using the Vicon. From the Vicon Neverlin, Kuverlin, whatever pack it's called. I can never remember the name of this thing. This thing's really cool. Again, if you haven't had a chance to use this stuff from the, the DLCs in the base game, I would highly recommend it. There's some really, really great mods. I mean, this thing's really cool how it extends out and opens. and uh, it's, it's, it's pretty neat. Pretty neat. PTO's animated there, but it's not animated there. <laughs> it's all right. But yeah, if you, if you haven't checked it out yet, definitely worth checking out. You probably can get all this stuff on sale right now. Or if you want to support the channel, down in the link, 
uh, or down in the description, there's links. You can use partner code RASNAC. I am a Giants partner. If you didn't know that, they throw me a pennies for every dollar that you spend. <laughs> but yeah, you could use the links down below in the description. But for right now, you can. Uh, I would use Steam because uh, usually this stuff is on sale a lot now because it's towards the end of the gaming cycle. But if you want to pre-order FS22, there is a description down below. You can uh, pre-order FarmSim22. Check that out. And then they throw they throw a little bit of money my way. Not a whole lot, but a little something. A little something, something. All right. Uh, you kind of know what we're going to do here. We're going to get this road up. And then we're going to grab our loading wagon. Fun little mod. We'll talk about that here in just a minute. That uh, uses the silage additive tank. And that increases our yield. Um, that's kind of how the mod works. Is it, it doesn't make silage. It just, if you have additive in the loading wagon it increases yield but yeah we'll show you that here in a minute after I get this road up I'll talk to you then last on the agenda for day we have the Pottinger Toro Combine that's right I think I've talked about this before in the past this is a silage uh, or forage wagon loading wagon however you want to do it it's got the pickup up front um, and it has a couple different options this again you get this from the in-game mod hub just look for uh, Pottinger Toro Combine Right there, Pottinger Toro Combine. And what it adds is the loading wagon, which you can find right here under mods, right here. And it has a few different ones. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what they do. Uh, there's just, these two are like different sizes. And this one, uh, I'm not sure what the difference is between these two right here. I really don't know, but you can get an option to add. There's all kinds of number plates, but you can add a silage tank or no silage tank and then in that silage tank in the shop it adds another thing so if you go into pallets here and you you can buy silage additive right here 48 10 for a thousand liters or you can buy 25 liter tanks because it doesn't take a whole lot it only holds one 25 liter tank so this pallet will last you a long time and it's really nicely done i mean it's got the weight it's got uh really high high you know, high end labels, and it must be some kind of acid, I'm assuming, silage additive. It must be acid, uh, kind of acts as a preservative, probably. And then what it does is it increases your yield by a certain percentage. So, again, if we go into loading wagons, I think it says it in the description. Yeah, if you mix in silage additives to your forage wagon, your yield will increase by 10%. Uh, but again, neat little touch. So, you can add it there and then that way you just go by here and you fill it up and you're good to go and i think 30 liters runs like two full loads or something along those lines uh it'll treat two full loads and uh it's again neat little mod i, I think it's kind of cool uh it's, it's very nicely again one of the higher end mods you know everything's all the hoses and wires and Everything's there. It's great animation dust particles. Very very well done mod here towards the end of the game I'm, I'm pretty selective <laughs> About what mods I use And the the 10% additive is kind of nice. It's even got a little beacon light here on the back Yeah, very nicely done Head over here and I'll, I'll pick up a load and you'll kind of see I, I again. It doesn't It's kind of hard to see it change anything um Really, I haven't tested it. <laughs> I'm just assuming that it works because I haven't tried it without silage. I need to do that one time. I'll need to run it without any additive and then with additive and see what kind of yield increase we get. But hey, it's a loading wagon. Works just like a regular loading wagon. You can see it starts burning through the silage additive there. And I think uh, maybe three loads. I think it might be three loads now that I'm thinking about it. I was thinking it was just two loads, but I, th I really think it goes, it, whole, it uh, treats three full loads in the wagon that you can get out of it. So definitely worth checking out. Great mod. I'm going to be using it quite a bit here on Isla de Rang's Brass Neck. Oh, come on. Pull. Pull up that hill. I think the horsepower rating is a little higher than what I got here. Let me see. It's 200 horses, and this Fiat's only 180. 
but she'll pull it. It's just a little slow. Just, you know, gotta put gotta put a little work on it. it. Takes a little work to get to get where you need. And that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next little bit. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's just a quick little thing, you know, fun little video, nothing too serious. You know how I roll with the Isla de Raznak stuff. In the next video, uh, I think we're gonna be harvesting some barley. I think that's the plan. We might be bailing some hay and harvesting some barley. I haven't decided yet. Because uh, we have all the hay to pick up from these fields, but it hasn't finished drying yet. But we're going to load that into a loading wagon. Um, so yeah, we probably won't be bailing it. We'll probably be just putting it in the silo way over there at the main farm. Again, hope you have a great, great Saturday. Thank you for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you liked today's comment, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, uh, you know, you can hit the dislike button twice. Um... <laughs> Don't forget to comment, subscribe, tell your friends. Let them know what's going on. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Until next time, stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.